Oh, we're not sweater. Welcome to the Great Western Trail. And in this game, we're going to be competing as ranchers and going through the trail from Texas all the way up to Kansas City. And on the way, we are going to be trying to collect the most valuable types of cows that we can so that way we can ship them in Kansas City out across all around the United States. And once we are able to do that, we'll be able to get earn money and then we will start all the way back down in Texas again to be able to go through the trail as many times as we, as we want and are able to. So that way we can build more buildings onto the board, buy more cows. And so let's get down into the gameplay and see how this is going to go down. In Great Western Trail, whoever has the most victory points at the end of the game is going to be declared the winner. And as you can see on this score sheet, there are so many ways that you can score victory points. But let's just go over a few of the main ways that you can. So when you are out on the trail, you can buy more cattle um, to put into your herd. And so, and with these little shield symbols, those shield symbols are the indication of victory points in this game. So as you can see, if you buy, if you buy this blue cattle or cow, then you're going to get three victory points in the game. Or this yellow one will give you one. Or all the way up to this brown and purple ones are going to be higher victory points, like five or six or four victory points. And their value is in the top and the top corners here, those are the values of your cows. Or um, you can be able to advance your train on the trail, on the, on the tracks I should say. As you advance your train higher and higher and stop at these stations, you'll be able to earn yourself victory points at the end of the game. And the higher and higher you're going to be able to go, the more and more victory points you're going to be able to earn. And once you make it out to Kansas City, you're going to be able to ship your cattle out to all sorts of towns and cities throughout the United States. Like for example, if you're going to ship it out all the way to San Francisco, you're going to earn yourself nine victory points for end game scoring. So those are some of the huge ways that you can earn victory points. And there's various other ways that I'll, just, I'll be able to tell you guys throughout the game video. At the beginning of each person's turn, they have the opportunity to move their cowboy on the board three spaces. Like what was said at the beginning, we start off in Texas and we follow this trail. And each of the buildings along the trail are count as spaces. So if we, we are able to move up past three buildings, and on that third building you have to stop there. But you can stop earlier if you want to. And when you stop at a building, you get to take the action at that building. And so you keep doing this all the way until you get to the end of the trail. And the end of the trail ends at Kansas City. Once you make it out to Kansas City, you have a series of errands that you have to run before you can ship your cows out. So the first thing that you have to do is you get to choose between um, the different types of natives that you can put out onto the board. You can put out a blue teepee or a green teepee so that way you can trade with the natives, natives on a future turn, perhaps. Um, or you can put more workers into the job market, like a cowboy or an engineer. And then once you go through those steps of choosing, which tiles you want to put out into play on the board, you finally get to ship out your cattle. Now at the very beginning, um, of as you go throughout the trail, you're trying to work with your hand of cattle here. And your cattle uh, are represented by these hands of cards. And so, as you can see, um, I have four different types of cattle. And so that is really good because you cannot have any like cattles. If you do have like cattle cards, like if I had two green cards, then I would only get paid for one of those green cattle. So they have to be different or it's, you're not going to get paid for it. So I have a, a, a uh, I guess, a value total of seven because we got two, four, six, seven. And so I'm going to get seven coins. Seven, I'm going to get paid seven coins um, for, having that, um, for the, having those value of cattle right there. Well, okay, and then that moves us on to the last step, which is shipping. And so shipping deals with these trains right here. So we have an option, since we have a value of seven, we could either ship to Kansas City, or we can go to Topeka, Wichita, or Colorado. We can't quite yet um, ship out to Santa Fe or any farther than that, because we only have a value of seven, and so Colorado Springs is the farthest. Now, if I wanted to ship out to Colorado Springs, um, I would have to pay shipping costs 
for every, every, for every red X that my train does not meet, then I have to pay one coin of shipping for each of those. But if I wanted to um, maybe say ship out to Topeka, I wouldn't have to pay anything because there are no red X's there. And once we get back to Kansas City, um, in the gameplay, I'll explain this again, of course, but that's just kind of the gist. All right, so we are in Texas right now. We're going to be starting right from the beginning of the trail. We're going to be doing a two-player game. I'm going to be the blue player. Second player is going to be yellow. And so let's get underway onto the Great Western Trail. And so, like what was said, we have three, um, we can move up to three spaces. So there are not very many buildings out on the board right now. So if we moved all three spaces all the way out to here, we'd basically be halfway to uh, Kansas City right there. But we, we could be possibly missing out on some very important actions that we could want to take. So like for example, so if I were to move right here, if I were just to move one space, that would be the end of my turn, but I get to activate this building from stopping there. So if I were to give away, if I had a white level 2 cow, I'd be paid 2 coins and then I'd have the opportunity to hire someone from the job market. Now, what, the important thing with, uh, with the job market is, is that it allows you to, to be able to do things better as the game goes on. It kind of has this engine building type thing going on. So like for example, at the very beginning of the game, if I want to buy one of these, um, like one of these red, blue, or yellow cows, when I go to the cattle market, which is this building right here, so that's the cattle market symbol. If I were to, if I, for right now, I only have one cowboy to start off the game with. So if with one cowboy, if we're going to the cattle market, it's going to cost me six coins to be able to buy any of these three, um, uh, any of these three cows from this market right here. Or with only one cowboy, if I want to buy one of these brown cows, it would cost me 12 coins. And with one cowboy, I cannot buy any of these Texas Longhorns at all. Those are off limits until I hire another cowboy onto my player board. So that's why it could be very important for me maybe not to skip this one right here because I want to hire someone. So, and that's exactly actually what I'm going to do. And so I could, I could uh, give away. So here's my starting hand right here. Um, I was very lucky enough to, <laughs> to actually draw out cards that are not multiples of one another. So I have a green, a gray, a kind of a white white colored card and a black adding up to a value of seven which is good because none of them are multiples excuse me a tongue twister there and so I could I could just zoom through the trail right here as fast as I can to get to, to Kansas City so that way I can ship out these cows but do I really want to do that I'd miss out on the opportunity to hire someone and oh see this is a grueling grueling thing to think about so do I want to give away this white card here, value 2, to get 2 coins and then hire someone? I could choose not to, um, not to sell this uh, white cow here for 2 coins, and I could just skip that and go right ahead into hiring someone from the market. Hmm. So should we risk it? Let's, let's go ahead and risk it. Why not? Let's get those 2 coins. So we're going to go ahead and discard this out of here. And then we get two coins from the supply. And there we go. And so now we start off with six, and so now we have eight coins, which can be very valuable for ourselves because we're about to spend some money because we are going to hire someone. So we can either hire a construction worker, an engineer, and a cowboy. So we already kind of know what cowboys can do. They make it easier for us to be able to buy cattle. Like if, uh, if we have two cowboys, if I were to buy a cowboy right now, it only cost me three coins to buy one of these to buy one of these cows right here. And that's very nice. And I added a little bit more variety to to my deck right here. Because with this deck right here, it does not have that many um, that much variety of color at all, as you can see. Um, and so it kind of has a little bit of a light deck building um, thing going on in this game. Because if I were to buy one of these cows, I'd take this cow and put it into my discard pile. And so I'm going to try, then after that, I'm going to be trying to cycle through my deck to be able to get one of these cows that I just bought back into my live hand right there. So I think we're going to go ahead and buy a cowboy. Let's go ahead and do that so that way we can buy, 
cattle so much cheaper at the cattle building right over there. So it's going to cost us six coins. And so kind of a good thing that we took those two extra coins because now we only have two coins left in our little pocket. All right, so there we go. And we go ahead and now we have two cowboys. And so I could decide again to, to hire somebody else, but it's going to be two coins more expensive. So this means that, that uh, there is no, that you're not going to be charged, you're going to charge zero extra. It's just whatever is on the market is indicated on the market. But now it's going to cost me two more if I want to do the action again. And then plus whatever extra I would have to at the, at the market over here. So like if I wanted to hire this builder, then I would have to pay six coins plus two more. But I don't have enough money to do that, so right now is not a good time. All right, so now that was my, that was my turn. I, so once you stop at a building, that is the end of your turn. So now yellow has the opportunity to do the same. And so here's what yellow started off with. The, yellow was not as lucky to have drawn as good of a hand as I did. They drew two greens and two grays. So they have some work to do. And unfortunately did not get any white cattle. So you won't be able to sell off a white cow for two coins. Um, but do they want to hire someone? Uh, yeah, I think they do. So they, they too are going to stop right here. It doesn't matter if I went there or not. Um, as many people as are playing the game can stop at a, at a building. Does not block them from going there. Okay, so since they can't do this action, it goes right away to the hiring. And yellow is going to, they have the choice between either hiring a construction worker or an engineer. So a construction worker um, more easily allows you to build more uh, higher value types of buildings. Now we haven't talked about this quite yet. We talked about that it's possible to build out buildings onto this board. Because as you can see, there are several blank building spaces out here. And so and that's going to be, and as the game goes on, more and more buildings are being put out onto the board, which makes it harder and longer to get out to Kansas City. But at the same time, it gives you so many more juicy actions to do on the way there. So with a builder, um, you only start off with one, one builder on your, as you can see, it's indicated on your player board. And so with a, a one builder, you're able to only build these level one buildings at the very beginning of the game. So on the top left corner here, like on this building here, it only requires um, only one builder to build this outpost, um, or only one builder to build this cattle post, or to build this um, kind of little country store to be able to earn yourself coins. Now, so what do we want to do? Um, does he want to build, uh, get a builder so that way he can build these higher level buildings like maybe for instance he'll want to build this level 2 building. It'll give him three victory points at the very end of the game and also it's going to give him um, two actions right here. So you, with this action it only costs five coins to get rid of a hazard on the board. So if you follow the trail here as you can see there are some hazards like this hazard right here if you want to go down this path, um, well, you have to pass this water hazard, and it's going to cost you money because it's it's it takes a lot of time and resources to pass this hazard. And as you can see, it has this black hand on it. And if you look in your player board, there's a little reminder for when you pass a black hand or a green hand, it's going to cost you two coins to go to pass through there. If you don't have any coins when you pass through a hazard, or when, if there's a hand on there, you don't have to pay the cost. Then if you don't have any money left in your pocket. But for right now, we'll get into the buildings I think a little bit later. He is not going to want to buy a builder, but instead buy an engineer. And this engineer allows you to um, allows you to be able to move your train up. Because if you remember, if you um, when you do shipping, once you get to Kansas, you're going to want your train to be up um, at least to the level of where you're going to ship or else you're going to have to pay shipping costs. So if he wants to, if he wants to make it to ship out to Wichita with a, with a level value of a 4, um, which should be um, fairly easy to do, then he's going to be able to want to get his train at least out to this red X right here. 
and then he won't have to pay any shipping costs at all because he's made it right there to Wichita. So he's going to go ahead and do that. And unfortunately, he, he would technically get um, an ability right here that he could discard one of his black cattle. No, wait, no, no. That's not a black cattle. That's a gray cattle, and he has plenty of gray cattle in his hand. So that is good. So he's going to cover this up, and he gets, he, he's totally going to discard his gray cattle, his jersey cattle, out of his hand. Well, not out of his hand, but into his discard. And so let's make some room here for a discard pile. And there we go. So there is his discard pile. And so this indicates that he gets to move up his beef grade. And so this is where this section of the player board comes into play. When you move up your beef grade, so now he has a level one beef grade. Once you make it to Kansas City, so like right now, he only has a, a value of four. Because remember, multiples do not count. So he has two greens. That second green is not going to count. So he has one, two, three value um, when he's going to do shipping. But if he wanted to boost it up the four, he can spend some of his beef grade that he's collected throughout the trail. So he can spend this one beef grade to boost it up to four. And guess what? And now he is able to ship out to Wichita. All right. And, and at the end of your turn, once you've done all the actions that you want to do, um, you have to draw back up to four cards. So I didn't do that on my turn, but two second player is going to do it. Oh, darn, he got another Jersey cow. All right, he can work with that, I guess. We used to have plenty of time until we get to Kansas City. And so now it is my turn. We had the perfect hand, if you remember, but now it might get messed up, and it does. So we're going to have to figure out a way to be able to get another white cow into our hand, I think. So, all right, so here we go. So here's the next, next available building that we could stop at. We could go right here to be able to, be, to, be able to um, discard a, a green cow out of our hand to get two coins, and then we can build a building. And for each worker that it takes to build that building, it's gonna cost us two coins. Hmm, well look at that. I think that's gonna be very valuable for us right now because we have two green cards in our hands and so we would be able to discard this to be able to get two coins. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Let's move our cowboy over here. So we're again only moving one space, but this is good action because we get to discard this green cattle cow for two coins and then if we want to, we can also take this other action, which is we can build a building um, for, uh, for ourselves. And whenever you build a building out into the board, you can pick any spot that you want on the trail, and only you are able to activate that building spot. So it, it basically, it, only, it makes it harder for people to, to pass through your buildings because it takes up one of their, one of their three spaces that's possible. Um, and then they can't, they can't even take that action. So that's really nice. At least, at least for yourself, as long as you're, it's your building. All right, so do we want to build a building? So we start off with one construction worker. And so we could build one of these level one buildings right off the bat. Um, so let's go ahead and build this building right here. So with this building, this gives us a cattle post which allows us to, buy, to be able to purchase cows right off, right off from the, the cattle market right here. So like in this first action that we were able to do at this first building on the trail, um, you discarded a level two white cattle or cow for two coins. Well, in this one, you get to discard a level two white cow, but you get to earn four coins. And then after that, you get to go to the cattle market if you had to purchase something off of the market right here. And so I think I'm going to go ahead and spend two coins. So we just earn ourselves two coins from discarding or for selling um, one of these green cows. So we're going to pay that back to be able to build a building. All right. So let's see here. What, where do we want to put this? We can put this anywhere on the board that we want to. But you know what? We want to be able to space it out far enough from this other um, cattle this other cattle post. So maybe we either want to put it like 
out here farther, but usually the farther out that you go out into the trail before you get to Kansas City, you start running out of money near the end of the trail before you get to Kansas City. So maybe once we start off from Texas, maybe we want to build it closer to Texas because we would have just barely gotten paid from Kansas City. Once you make it to Kansas City, of course, you start right back at Texas. And so maybe we want to put it at one of these beginning spots. That could be really nice. So I think we're going to go ahead and kind of play it risky and put it here. Because as you can see, this has actually a bonus um, with this building spot. Not only do you get these actions here, but you also get a bonus action that you could discard a level 1 gray cow, move up your beef grade. Remember, this is your beef grade to be able to increase your cattle value. And then you get paid 2 coins. So potentially we could get paid 6 coins for going here. And then we get to go to the cattle market. And we would have had just gotten paid and, uh, from... From, the, from, from starting the round over right there. Whew, okay, so here's the risk with, with building right here. So these, have, these do have special little actions right here, but it's right on a hazard trail. So this is the water hazard trail. So the next time I go through here, um, there's gonna at least be one water hazard right here. So I'm gonna have to pay two coins to be able to go pass through here, but I'll have the potential of getting six coins. And then if I really want to, I could even remove this hazard um, later, perhaps maybe even later this round, by going to this building up here close to Kansas City. So by paying seven coins right here, let's see if you can focus, focus, focus. By paying seven coins right here, you can remove a hazard. And then you can also have a potential to earn four coins for, turning, for discarding two of the same colored types of cows. Alrighty, so there's my turn. I just built a building right here. I earned myself one victory point for the end of the game too. And I have a bonus action for the next time that I go through the trail. All right, so now it is player two's turn. Oh yeah, let's draw back up to a size four hand. Unfortunately, I just drew, I drew another multiple, but there's gonna be plenty of chances to be able to fix that. So player two. Now, they have the choice to be able to go down through this hazard and over here, or they can go through this top trail, which would only be, which would only cost one space. And so that's definitely what the yellow player is going to do. Um, but do they want to stop here to be able to sell a cow and then build a building? And I think they are. Now this doesn't always work out like this, um, that we're just going to be following each other to each of these buildings, doing all these actions. But at the very beginning of the game, for right now, it does. But that's okay. So we get to do the same exact actions. He's going to go ahead and pay two coins. Or not pay two coins, but he gets two coins by discarding a green card. He has a green card in his hand. And so that's going to be discarded. And they get two coins. And, oh, you know what? Uh, this guy did not pay for his engineer. So he's going to pay six, yeah, six coins for his engineer. There we go. So now he has three coins left. And then now he's going to build a building for two coins for each worker that it takes to build that building. Um, well, he only has one worker, so he can only build a level one building right now. And so he's going to go ahead and build this one. So I built this cattle post. Well, yellow player is going to go ahead and build an outpost. Now, this is a pretty cool card. And you know what? He's going to build it right here. And here's why. So for, so for every building card, for every building tile that you have that is on a plot of trees, whenever you stop here, you're going to get two coins for every building tile that you have that is on trees. And so he's going to build it right here, right on the trees. So when he stops there, um, the yellow player is going to be able to get paid two coins. And if in a future round he builds maybe over here, where these tree tile spots are, then he's going to get even more coins. It's like if he builds another building right here, he's going to have one, two buildings on, on a forest plot, so he's going to get paid four coins. And you know what? It basically also adds kind of a toll booth, because it has this green hand on it. So whenever other players pass your outpost, 
they have to pay you two coins for passing your outpost. And so this is something that my wife, Kara, loves to do to me. And, well, she's always a yellow player, and I think it just kind of fits right there. Okay. And that's okay, that's okay. So, and they have to pay for that building, so it costs two coins, and we put that back over here. Alrighty. So now it is back to me, and player two needs to draw back up to four cards. And so he has three. And while well, he just continued with these with these uh, greens and grays, I, I promise to shuffle those cards. All right, well, let's keep going then. So now it is back to my turn. So now I have the choice. I can either go off this offshoot where there is a desert hazard. So I'm gonna have to pay two coins to be able to pass through this desert hazard, or I'm gonna have to pass through this outpost where yellow player owns this outpost. Now I have to pay the yellow player two coins. Ah, oh, brother. So I think it's gonna we're gonna have to pass through the desert right here, so that way we're not just giving free money to the yellow player. So we have to spend our very last two coins, unfortunately. Now we are completely broke, but we go through here and throw so that is one space right there. Now do we want to stop there necessarily? Hmm. So here's what we could do. Do we want to stop there? Okay. So what we could do is we could stop there, and if we do, we increase our beef grade by one, or whatever has a slash through it, instead of this solid line down the middle, down the middle, you can either do increase your beef grade or take a um, objective card. And what an objective card does for you is it's an opportunity to earn victory points at the end of the game. So I haven't pointed this out, but we actually start off with an objective card. So if by the end of the game, we collect, if we trade with, the, with a blue Indian TP and clear off two hazards off the board, then we will gain three victory points at the end of the game. Now this objective cards, we have um, four of them to choose from. So like, what we could do, we could earn five victory points for making two shipments and then also trading twice with two in blue um, natives. Or you can earn three victory points with this one by making one shipment and then selling to a green and a blue native. And then, and then so on. Okay, so do we want to stop there? I don't think we're going to want to stop there. The other action on this one is that you can, um, for every conductor or for every engineer that you have on your player board, so I only have one engineer, you can move your train forward that much. So I'd be able to move my train forward one space. So that's how you're able to move your train forward, um, so that way shipping cost is not as expensive, and to be able to stop at these stations to earn yourself victory points. I don't think I'm going to stop here. So that's one space for me, but I think I am going to stop at this second space. And this is where the trade Indian action is, or, or trade native. I do not mean to offend anyone by saying Indian, but so you can trade with the natives here. Or you can pay two coins to move your train up two spaces. So I think we're going to go ahead and trade with the natives. And so what you do by trading with the natives is you just take the most, um, the highest level um, um, TP that there is, TP tile. And so this is the highest TP tile. So I'm going to take this and Sometimes you have to actually pay coins to be able to trade with them, but this time we actually get to earn, our, <coughs> excuse me, earn ourselves a one, one coin for, taking, or for trading with these blue Indian teepees. So I'm going to put this right in front of myself. So I, I earn this tile. I get to keep this in front of me for the rest of the game. And this also applies to my personal objective. And so now I have a blue Indian teepee for trading with them. So now I just need to clear off two hazards, and then I earn my, will have earned myself three victory points for the end of the game. And now I get to do the other action here, and this is a double auxiliary action. So now we have not talked about auxiliary actions yet. So if we look on our player board here, we have a selection of auxiliary actions that we can do. Now, most of them are actually blocked off right now. So the only actions that we can do 
is a single auxiliary action. We can either take one coin or we can draw one card from our deck and then discard one card from our hand. Let's see, what do we want to do? You know, I think we're going to go ahead and take one coin for ourselves. And we'll save this one for a later turn. Alrighty, so now it is uh, the second player's turn. I just did that action in that building. I got to move two spaces this time. But now yellow gets to go, and so yellow is going to go ahead and... Do they want to stop stop at their outpost? Um, you know what? I don't think they're going to stop at their outpost just yet. They might in a future round. But this round, they're actually going to go out, speed up right through here onto this one right here. They're going to go ahead and increase their beef grade by one on this building. So there we go. And then they get to move their train up two spaces. So it's one space for every engineer that you have on your player board. Well, if you remember... Oh, wait. Oh, what did I just do? I think I mixed up those colors. I'm going to have to look back in that video and make sure I didn't, like, take somebody else's turn for somebody else. Okay. Yeah, so I mixed up those colors, I think. But, um... So yellow moved up their beef grade and is going to be able to move two spaces for having two engineers on their player board. Alrighty. So here we go. So one and two. And the uh, yellow train is leaving me in the dust right now. And that's okay. We might be able to catch up here in a bit. Um, Alright. So that's the, that's the yellow player's turn. So once you know, how, once you know how to, what all these buildings kind of do, it's a very quick paced game, actually. These, your turns can go by, uh, can go back and forth quite quickly. Alright, so now it's my turn. <laughs> I'm going to move my player first, or my player this time for sure, not the yellow player. Okay, so I'm going to go here, and this is the cattle market, finally. So you have the opportunity to turn in a, 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 one of your black cards to be able to earn yourself two coins, and then you can go to the cattle market. And I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. I have a black card in my hand, so let's go ahead and sell it, which is put it in the discard, and then we just earn ourselves and ourselves two coins. And now we can go to the cattle market. And so I have two cowboys, so with two cowboys, I can buy one of these value three cows for three coins. So let's go ahead. I just barely earned myself three coins to be able to do this. So one, two, three. Pay it to the cattle market. And let's go ahead and, and take ourselves this blue cow. All right. And the nice thing is we chose out this one. It doesn't matter. You can choose out of any of them. It doesn't matter if it's on top of one another. In case you're wondering, and this is, earns ourselves three victory points at the end of the game. So that is nice. We just bought ourselves this cow, and there we go. Alrighty, so that was my turn. Now, what does the yellow player want to do? Do they want to speed ahead? And I think they actually do. They're going to go ahead and go one, two, three, and go right here to this building. They just passed me up. Um, or they could have gone to this top trail. Uh, it would have been the same. So they're going to go here because with this action, if you, if you are able to sell two of the same type of cow, you're going to earn yourself four coins. And then if you want, you can remove a hazard for seven coins. So, well, we know that the, this player definitely has some multiples. So he's going to go ahead and sell both of these Jersey cows to be able to earn himself four coins. Does not have enough to be able to remove a hazard just yet. He has five coins, so he can't remove a hazard. And even if he did have seven coins, you're not forced to remove a hazard. You, it's optional to be able to complete any action that you want on that tile. All right. And so now it's back to me, the blue player. And we forgot again to drop to a size 4 hand. So let's do that right now. And there we go. That looks nice. 
And I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do the same thing that the yellow player just did. And so we're going to go ahead and <laughs> discard our Jersey cows. So they are two of the equal same type cows. Put it in our discard. And then earn ourselves four coins. And so that's the end of our turn. Draw back up. And see if we get lucky. We do not. We get two Jersey cows again. All right. So now it is yellow player's turn. And so the yellow player... Oh, did not draw back up to a size four hand either. So let's do that. All right. So his hand is starting to improve a little bit. Now he only has one multiple. So he has a choice here. He has a choice to be able to either stop here and he can move his train up two spaces because he has two engineers on his player board. And then he can do an auxiliary action, which if we remember, that means you can, just at the very beginning of the game, you can only take one coin or you can um, draw a card and then discard a card out of your hand. And you know what? That's just too good to pass up right now. So yellow player is going to go here. And he gets to move up his train two spots. So one, two. And so now he has met up with Wichita. And so now he doesn't have to pay any shipping costs if he wants to ship to Wichita. That is super nice. And I, my train it has done nothing. Nothing at all. Okay, and so we went ahead and did this action here. And so now we can do this double auxiliary action, but for right now it's only a single auxiliary action. And he's and you know what he's gonna do? He's gonna do this, um, draw one card and then discard one card. And so he's gonna go ahead and draw a card, hoping that he does not get a multiple. So he's going to draw it, unfortunately, gets a multiple, so now he, now he has to discard. So he'll just go ahead and discard this one um, out of his hand into the discard pile. And so it looks like this is what he's going to be taking, uh, taking to Kansas City. So now it is my turn. That was the end of Yellow Player, so now it is my turn. I'm going to do the same exact thing. But you know what? I only have one engineer. So I only get to move my train up one space. And then I get to do a du double auxiliary action. But for right now, as we know, it's just a single auxiliary action. We're going to do the same exact thing. We're going to draw one and hope that we don't get a multiple. And we do! Ouch! Okay. So now we have to choose one to discard. And let's just discard one of these little Jersey cows. Now it is back to yellow player's turn, and yellow makes it to Kansas City first, which is fine. Okay, so yellow gets to choose between um, a blue or a green TP. Well, what's his objective card? His actually does not even deal with TPs. He'll, his deal with, he can have any level or any color of a level 3, a value 3 cow. He wants to have a value 4 cow. And he wants to have built a building. So the only thing he has completed on this card so far is he has built a building, which is good. So it's possible before the end of the game that uh, that he's going to be able to earn himself one of these types of cows. Unfortunately, I actually only took the only cowboy. So so I think that's kind of why I was the only one to be able to buy cows this round. But that might change. All right, so it really doesn't matter which one he draws. So he's going to go ahead and put out this green teepee. And then he moves here, and he's going to go ahead and choose to put out a cowboy. And so we put this cowboy right here. And so this kind of indicates that the round has changed. So this slides down into this place where this chip was. And once this chip makes it all the way down to the end right here, then once this slides off the board, that's going to indicate the end of the game. And then he moves on to the phase three. And he's going to go ahead and choose another cowboy. So he puts that right here. There we go. And so now, finally, he gets to get paid for the cattle that he brought to Kansas City. And remember, if there's any duplicates, he's not going to get paid for that duplicate. So, so he earned himself a value total of five. 
and he can choose, he can choose right now to be able to spend his beef grade to increase to a six if he wanted to. And so in a six would allow him to ship to Colorado Springs. But you know what? Hmm, does he want to go to Colorado Springs right now? Or he could ship to Wichita and not have to pay anything, or he could just go to Topeka. Because here's, here's what he has to think about. So he has a level, level five, so he's gonna get paid five coins for sure. So let's go ahead and put that in the discard pile. He's gonna get paid five coins. Um, so five, there we go. So he can choose to either go to Wichita. So here's how you indicate your shipping. You get to, you get to take one of your chips off of your player board to indicate your shipping. And so it can open up one of your auxiliary actions. So let's go ahead and pick this one right here. So it has a white border and it goes with this white border on this little shipping um, spot right there. As you can see, as you go towards the end, it turns into a black border. And that allows you to be able to do one of the, remove one of these black bordered chips. So like if you remove this one, you get paid three coins, and now you get to move three spaces plus one. So you get to move four spaces after that. Or if you remove this one, you get to draw five, you get instead of just four cards, you get to do plus one. So now you have a five, hard, five card hand limit. But it costs you five coins to be able to do that. But it's so worth it. Okay, so here's what he has to think about. If he increase, uses his beef grade to increase it to, um, excuse me, to be able to ship to, out to Colorado Springs, then he can put his chip there. But if next round he doesn't make um, above a level, a level six or something like that, if he ships to Wichita, he's going to have to put a chip here, and then that's going to be minus one victory point right there. So maybe he actually wants to, because he knows for sure that eventually he's going to be able to ship it out to Colorado Springs again, most likely, next round. So if he ships out to Topeka, he still won't have to pay any shipping cost, and most likely he'll be able to ship here, and then Colorado Springs, and then avoid Wichita completely. Because if you see, if he ships to Topeka and Wichita, it'd be minus three victory points. He'll be able to draw an objective card, but that's just going to be counteractive right there. That's not going to be good enough for him. And then uh, if you ship out to Kansas City, you get six coins, but it's going to be minus six victory points at the end of the game. All right. So he went ahead, and he's going to go ahead and ship to Topeka. And then now, yellow player is going to start out right back at Texas. There we go. All right, let's restock here. All right, so back to my turn. So now I'm gonna make it to Kansas City. And so now we go through the same order here. We're gonna go right here. Let's go ahead and put out another teepee. So let's put out the blue teepee. So now when somebody trades with the natives, they, they will be able to take this blue, they have to take this blue TP first, but they're going to get paid two coins for trading with them. And then, let's go ahead and choose this engineer. And so now this slides down again. And then, right here, let's choose this other engineer. And this engineer goes right here. And so now, we get to get paid for the types of cattle that we brought to Kansas City. And so unfortunately, I didn't do too bad, but I'm also going to have to, I only have a level five value because I had a multiple of a green. So I get five coins for doing that. So let's take ourselves five coins. There we go. And then now I have to pay any shipping costs that there are. But you know what? I think I'm going to follow the same strategy that the yellow player just did. I too am going to ship out to Topeka. And let's go ahead and open up this one. So now I have a double auxiliary and the draw, I'll be able to draw two cards and then discard two cards. So I'll be able to cycle through my cattle so much faster, which is going to be nice. Alright, if 
I can balance it on there. There we go. And then now I head all the way back down to Texas. And so now we have to we got to start over all again and go through the trail. But look, there's more buildings. I can stop for my building right here. Let's see here. So we're gonna draw up to four cards. We got a black cow, a black cow, a white cow, which I like because hey, I can get four coins for that. And then, oh, my deck just ran out. So if I'm gonna have to draw a card and again, I'm gonna have to reshuffle my discard and then it's gonna make my new deck. So I did get a white cow and I'm pretty happy about that because I'm gonna get four coins for doing that and then I get to go to the cattle ranch or to the cattle market again. And I'm pretty happy Oh wait, yeah, I'm pretty happy because I have a Jersey cow, so I'm gonna be able to activate that to give me some beef grade and two coins. So that's sweet. I'm gonna have to pay the price for going through a, a water hazard, but that's okay. That's okay. I'll be able to get earn those coins back. So I start off the round with nine coins, and player two starts off the round with ten coins. And so we're gonna go through the Great Western Trail again to be able to go up to Kansas City all the way until this chip goes off the board and um, the cow market does get reset a couple times throughout the game as more cows are purchased and so we're going to be trying to complete our objectives and as much earn as many coins as we can by shipping and move up our trains and going to the stations and stuff oh there are so much good things that you can do in this game but I think this gives you guys a very good idea of what it is like to play Great Western Trail so if you want to hear my final thoughts of what I think about Great Western Trail, go ahead and hit the I in the top right corner right there, and I'll tell you exactly what I think. Well, you guys have a great day. I'll see you later.